Hello and welcome back to Varnhold's Law. So, before we get into the episode today, there has been a patch and there is a new DLC. It's called Arcana Unleashed and basically it adds in six new spells. I mean, it adds in more in the main game, but for our purposes, it adds in six new spells, which we may or may not get to access depending on if we uh, level up or get a new character. We may level up, so we may get to see them, but... Yeah, it depends also whether Cephal's in the right uh, level range to get them, or I suppose Drew might be in the right level range to get them, but basically, yeah, we might see some new spells is basically what we're getting at, and, you know, there's some context. Anyway, we have to head off to an ancient dungeon where an emperor of an ancient cyclops still uh, rests, according to the dwellers of Old Stump. However, the centaurs of the Noman tribe will hardly be happy to see outsiders approaching. Right. Now, I would suspect that this might be the final mission of the DLC. The reason I suspect this is because the ancient dungeon where an emperor of the ancient Cyclops still rests, well, that's kind of where it meets the main game. So, yeah, I'm interested. This may be actually very, very short. Well, let's see. I'm expecting a dungeon. Um... I guess I have finished my business. I kind of wanted to rest, but we can't rest here. So, yeah, let's go. Let's see where we end up. Hopefully, somewhere good. Religion does not die easily. Today they renounce Charon, and tomorrow they rush back to his embrace. We may only have sown the seeds for a future riot. We'll appoint a trusted cleric as the new leader of the village. Someone to make sure the cultists don't return to their old ways. Unless you plan to fight the next battle without my best spells, we need to rest. Good job. We needed to rest. Right. Come on. Nobody attack us. Nice. It looks good. We're not fully healed, but we're, we're close enough. We're much better than we were. Okay. And we can heal up to full here if we need to. That's a horrible noise, but I think that was our elk coming back to life. Okay, um... Ooh, right, there we go. Magar stops, looks over the area, and turns to the party. Listen carefully, everyone. Uh, everyone listen carefully. I don't trust our new friends at all. But right now, they're our key to understanding what happened in these la What's happening in these lands. We are here for the safety of Varnhold and our citizens. So, we help Zoradesh and his people, and we keep our eyes open. We show mercy to the centaurs whenever possible. But I wouldn't mind talking to the warrior priestess. She might know more than these daemon worshippers. But if they don't want to talk, we won't have any choice but to fight our way to the tomb. Any questions? Why don't we wait for reinforcements from Varnhold? Their strength in numbers. First, because I'm not about because I'm not ready to leave the city without a guard. And second, unless we act at once, I'm afraid that the daemon worshippers and centaurs will slaughter each other and there won't be anyone left to help us figure out how to deal with the tomb. Well, I'm ready. Let's go. Okay. Hello, everybody. Uh, yeah, get the centaurs. Okay, let's work out how we're going here. So, elk, that one. Tahara, that one. Uh, we'll head on we this one. That one will head on this one. Um... I might just get this guy to chuck in some basic spells, because I don't really need anything else. Drew as well, um, although she doesn't have a ranged weapon, which does kind of make her less useful. I might just turn her into a leopard. Yeah, sure. And Sakor, he can just shoot in. Go. I'm not overly worried about this fight. Actually, you know what I'm going to do with Cephal? I'm going to use uh, protection from arrows, because that seems like we're about to be hit by arrows. Maybe just use it on yourself there, Cephal. Right. Perfect. Right. Uh, Tahara, now that we don't need to move, I can use her and, uh, like, swift action. Perfect. That's looking good. Tahara is almost dead, but that's okay. Right. We got her. Right. Good. Tahara, little bit injured. I'm going to quick save. I'm not going to heal Tahara, but uh, we will think about it later. Uh, we'll grab some of that. Grab some of that. Hopefully there's a trader at some point, but we'll see. 
Do I want to grab a bowl for Drew? Uh, it's tempting actually, yeah. I might grab a bowl for Drew. Just so she has something to use, you know? Let's grab a composite longbow. Uh, which I think actually we could use here, right? Instead of masterwork longbow, we could give him the um, composite longbow. Uh, they do the same damage, and I think composite actually has less hit chance to hit. No, unless you add your strength damage to the bow. Oh, okay. Oh, she's currently a leopard. Well, we'll give her the uh, weapon afterwards. That's fun. Right. Um, reasonably big area. Is this a trader area? It looks like it might be. Cool. Grab that stuff. Grab this stuff. Good. No stopping now. Uh, we actually got camping supplies, so yeah, I was going to say it's probably not going to be a rest area. Yeah, I'll just tell them to attack in there. Let's just unpause, because we're just doing basic attacks, basically. It should be fine. Yeah. Uh, is Tahara around here? Tahara, yeah, we do need your buff, but apart from that, we're good. Yeah. Is Tahara down? Oh, she's dead. Oh, no, Drew is dead. Oh, wow. Did not expect that one, actually. Wow. Um, do I need to put a little bit more effort into this? Potentially. Oh, Nature Whisperer. Yeah, she needs to die. Uh, okay, one of those. Sakor, that one. Uh, Magar is good here. Let's go. That was a good sneak attack there. I'm assuming this was summoned by the nature whisperer. Oh, yeah. Nice. Uh, and then it's Wolf. Wolf was not summoned by the nature whisperer. Interesting. Magar, you wanna stab it? Stab it? Yeah. Somebody wanna kill it? I won't give up. Wow, we're... okay. Searing Light, we might just die to nothing. Should be good. Yep, we died to nothing. Wow. Okay. Well, I uh, guess that shows me, right? Uh, let's set it up done. here. Now, do we have heals? Uh, we do have heals, so I might heal her now. Not for very much, but I can definitely get a couple of these in here. Hold animal I'm probably not going to use. Right, that's fine. Uh, and then maybe just one AoE heal. Top us up here. That's fine. Uh, no, we don't need to grab that. Um, hmm, this is fine. What we need is we need buffs that last a while. So, Bless is one that lasts a while. So we'll do that. A magic fang is also one that lasts a while, so we'll do that as well. Do you have Watch anything else way. you want to cast? Uh, I don't think so, no. I think we should be good to just fight. Let's fight a little bit more sensibly than I fought before. Charge! So here, actually, the this bit's fine. You three attack that centaur. You two are going to head up this... No, you're going to head down here. So Kor's going to run in. Drew... Um, she can attack down here as well, and Cephal's gonna run in. Good. That's fine. Good, so now these two can attack in there. Do we have an attack? Uh, uh yes. What well, we can't charge yet. But yeah. We can do it! Can we charge at all? Oh, we're not in range. Okay, maybe now, now we can charge? No, we just, we just don't have a straight line movement here. Okay, Tahara, uh, just use this. Right. Get it as quickly as possible down here. Okay. Uh, attack the wolf. Strike with all your might. Right, one of those in here. Uh, do we have prayer as well? Prayer is... Oh, wait. Run in further? Not you. But, oh, that's fine. Actually, you, you're fine to move in further. Right. Um, this is good. So we kind of got two different uh, paths here, which is a little bit better than it was previously. So these two are absolutely destroying the centaurs, which is great. Cultist people still alive. Prayer in here to make the wolf a little bit less effective. Lovely. Right. Uh, we probably missed on that one, I imagine. Uh, he has high reflex at a suit. No reflex. Oh, in which case, just kill it, right? Wait, it says it has one hit point. This isn't right. 
it's an illusion or something. I don't know. Definitely does not have one hit point. That's just incorrect. Okay. Well, that's fine. We have a bunch surrounding this guy now, which is great. Um, a couple of cultist warriors up here. We have cultist warrior and us up here. Uh, anything else we can attack this thing with? I guess one of the... Actually, magic missiles never miss, so let's use that one. Yeah. Nice damage. Not, uh, yeah, that's perfect. It's about to die now. Over here, how are we looking? Tahara's not looking great. But it's now attacking Magar, which is slightly better. I mean... Oh, no. Wait. That seems like it hit Tahara. So maybe it's AoE. Okay. Drew, we got anything we want you to do here? Not really. Acid Maw is the only one, but we don't need to cast it right now. Okay. Wolf is dead, I think. Nice. Okay. So, Magar, um, fight defensively just to increase his AC. Uh, we cannot charge over we here, but go and attack that one. Right. We got a heal. Potentially, if we move in a little bit more. Will not I am sorry to disappoint you, friends. They've stopped attacking Magar, so I'm going to not worry about that for just now. I am going to chuck in a snowball on this, on this guy. Yeah. Low fortitude seems like a good choice here. Right. Nice. That was really good damage. Okay. It's now attacking the cultist warrior, which is exactly what we want. And it's dead. Nice. Hopefully we can rest in this area. Oh, she's dead. Oh, wow. Wait, who's falling over now? Is he falling over? Is there something else on him? I uh, don't think so, no. Okay. I do have to res our uh, companion, and Mager can hopefully do that for us. Hopefully we don't I'm need to here. do too many more reses, as we don't have any more reses, basically. Okay, just keep doing it till it succeeds. Again. Nice. Okay. Uh, she got dex back. Does that imply that she died from running out of dex? No. No, it doesn't. Okay. Cool. If we rest, we can rest in this area. Fantastic news. I suppose the fact it dropped camping supplies should have been my first clue to us being allowed to rest. Anyway, we get anything good? Uh, we got plus one hide armor. That's not bad. Yeah. Uh, we'll grab all of that. Lovely. Who can use the plus one hide? Probably Magar. Uh, he or he has plus one stead, uh, studded right now. We have plus two hide. Okay. We do also have the plus, uh, the plus one breastplate, which I actually think is probably better for us. Yeah. Okay. Mager um, can't use medium armor. Okay. So that means it go. We just go down the list. So Tahara can definitely use either of these. Uh, her dex bonus is usually plus three means that actually either of these are fine for her anyway so we'll give her the hide armor drew uh doesn't matter because when because uh, when she's in melee range she's already got um other stuff on that's fine good we'll go for that yeah when she's in melee range she um is already like a leopard so we don't really care Ooh, what we got over here Punching Dagger, Corrosive Punching Dagger, and a Cloak of Resistance 2. Well, we'll take the Cloak of Resistance 2, definitely. Um, yeah, because we have the Cloak of Resistance 1. We might as well take 2. Um, actually, Charisma, does that affect his spells? No, it doesn't. Okay, that's fine. Thought I'd just check. Uh, it doesn't affect Wizards either. Right. For her, uh, she can have a Cloak of Resistance. Uh, as can Mager. So that's our front line. Okay. Already have rings of protection handed out. Although we could hand out some more, I suppose. Uh, although everyone has one. Probably apart from Drew, but that's okay. Um, and the other thing we picked up was the punching dagger. Now, Mager might be able to make use of that. There's quite a lot of damage. Let's have a look at see what he's good with in terms of abilities. Uh, his weapon focus on short swords. That's a plus one on all attack rolls. But... We he could use that, or we could give it to Tahara. He's got a weapon-focused dagger. Nah, it's not really. It's not a dra dagger that she has. 
I'm going to give it to Mager, and I'm going to replace one of his short swords with it. Yeah, and it's cold iron as well, which is quite nice if we run into that. Yeah, okay. Uh, ooh, have we not looted this one? We have not. Fantastic. We can uh, loot this entire place and rest here, because this area is designed for resting. You can kind of see it and how it's made up. And they gave you ca they give you so many camping supplies in the area as well. It's definitely like, hey, hey, if you need to rest, here's your chance. So, have a look. Uh, yeah, so we got to climb the hill to wherever we're going. So it might probably a final fight at the top here, I'd imagine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, rest. Nice. That's okay. We healed up, and that's all that matters, really. Um, okay. Just checking anything else. No, I think we're ready to go. Quick save. Let's head up the hill. Onwards. Just actually level is what I wanted to check. Away, we're close still, but victorious. that's okay. Go in. I was going to tell everyone to charge. Uh, Tahara, use your Freebooters one. Think whether we got anyone special. No, they're all centaurs. I'm just going to unpause and let this run. There's not a lot we need to worry about here. Yeah, in fact, they're all dead before we even get there. Lovely. Good news. Right. Just get everyone together. Start picking up the loot. March on. Right. Anything on here? Ah, uh, the Necromancer. It, that must be the, all the red stuff that was popping up. Centaur blood is our offering for Master Sharon. He is the hor horseman of death, and death is what we bring. Okay. Interesting. So we can't go straight up the stairs. No stopping we got to head around this way. Okay, so is there anything along this little path? There's got to be, because otherwise why would you put in this little path, right? It's just asking for there to be a little secret along the end here. Maybe a quick way up to the top? It is done. Nah, okay. It's just a body. Okay, on the body we've got nothing. And nothing. Lovely. Those are just more camping supplies in case you needed camping supplies. Maybe they're giving the camping supplies to us. Not because we need to rest here. Because we could rest here as much as we like, you know. It's outside. Maybe they're giving us the camping supplies because we can't rest in the Follow dungeon me. that's coming up. Maybe that's what's going to happen. And they're this making should. sure that we're prepared for that. Yeah, attacking. I don't think we need to do anything special. These are just basic enemies again. That one if you can. Nice. Okay. Should be fine. Yep. Surround it. Kill it. Move these ones forward. Right. Uh, anything good? Oh. I didn't mean to go into the combat. But whoa, okay, there we go. This is Ikora Silverfire. A group of centaurs stand shoulder to shoulder, grumbling angrily. They surround a stately woman, whose armor is stamped with images of the moon. It is clear she must be their leader. She looks to your party, her eyes sharp and unkind. On her lips is a challenge, not a greeting. In the name of Mother Moon, what are you doing here? You would ruin yourself and my tribe, strangers. Mother Moon is Desna. Desna, also known as the Great Dreamer, Lady Luck, and Mother Moon, goddess of dreams, luck, stars, and travelers, is among the most ancient of deities. While her peers burdened themselves with the task of creating Galarian, she spent her time building the heavens. She knew that there would be plenty of time for her and her followers to explore the many wonders of the world later. She's changed little since those earlier days, and she and her followers delight in exploring the world. Magar raises his hand, quieting the angry whispers in the ranks of the centaurs. Lady Ekora, I presume. I am Baron Magar Varn, ruler of Varnhold. Sky is my witness. I do not want your people to fight my people. Blood has been shed, but we do not need to keep shedding it. All we want is to protect our homes from the attacks of the dead Cyclops. And to do that, I need to deal with the tomb. A murmur runs through the ranks of the centaurs. Ikora's eyes become fierce and furious. Deal with the tomb. And I must take your word for this, Baron Varn. Trust you 
and lift the guard that the No Men tribe has stood for thousands of years? I should allow you to approach the thing that mortal hands must never touch. Are you still talking, you pathetic fools? Enough! Your time is at an end. Your thousand-year guard is a sham. Master just didn't want to give his gifts to the worthy until now. But the moment has come. You cannot bend his will. The conversation ends abruptly. And a tense silence hangs in the air, as if each side is waiting for the opponent's moves. Okay, so we can ask for the truth. Uh, if you want my opinion, Commander, we should deal with Ikora. Let the Daemon worshippers go back to Abaddon. Okay. I can say, why didn't we get rid of... Why did, don't we get rid of old... Why don't we rid old stump of both the centaurs and the cultists? Or the centaurs stamp between us and the threat to Varnhold. They must stand down or die. Let's, let's do the top one. I think it's going to lead to more info before we say anything, basically. Mistress, tell us about what you guard. We wish to know the truth. So, you come here without even knowing what you're dealing with. Are you extremely stupid or extremely desperate? I do not have time or desire to sing your songs as they are passed from generation to generation these many long ages, but I will tell you the story of the Eternal Nomen Guard as briefly and as clearly as I can. A long, long time ago, a Cyclops Empire ruled these lands. This was a kingdom of darkness and unimaginable cruelty. But somehow, there was one among them in this ominous place whose soul was filled with such darkness that he terrified even his own kin. This ancient tyrant, whose name we must never speak, built his citadel in these lands. But his disciples and subjects rebelled against him and sealed him within his own walls. Alas, he is not dead, but only wrapped in a magical sleep. Thousands of years ago, Mother Moon sent nightmares to my ancestors, which led them to his resting place. They discovered it and ordered us to stand guard so that no foolish mortals would disturb the monster's sleep. If it awakes, no one will survive. Ah, and you insist, Cephal's voice drips poison, that you do not know what you are dealing with that you do not know what you are dealing with while we don't. You have just admitted, Priestess, that your tribe has been loitering here for thousands of years, gradually becoming savage and dying out, simply because some ancient old men had bad dreams after eating a tainted squirrel. Okay. Um, well... I don't, I, I don't really know. I think we just say we should deal with Ikora because it seems sensible. Um, to be honest with you. I mean, I know we just backed the cultists a second ago, but like we were told by Mager in no uncertain terms, and I said we were going to be loyal. We were told right back here. Actually, I can't go that far back, but basically said no centaurs are to die. So, you know. If you want my opinion, Commander, we should deal with Ikora. Let the demon worshippers go back to Abaddon. And pray, and why, pray tell, would you and Cephal drag me into an alliance of demon worshippers if now we're going to betray them? Well, it's a good question, but at the time it seemed like a good idea, okay, Magar? But think what you're saying. You refuse the power and eternity that the Master offers. If you want peace... You want peace, but how do you know that we are prepared to offer it? I still don't see why I should allow you inside the tomb. Listen to me, Ikora. The Cyclops have already awakened. They're lurking in the area. That means their leader isn't sleeping as peacefully as before. Hmm. Okay, we can try our religion. But it's not going to work. Our diplomacy is all a Magar. Okay. Uh, we won't be able to persuade the centaurs. I'm sorry we have to kill them. Where I'm using Magar's own diplomacy against him. Magar, we should rid the centaur. We, we should get rid of the centaurs and the cultists too. They are both enemies to Varnhold. Instead of wasting our efforts fighting each other, we should join forces and go into the tomb together. 
lovely thought wrong character to get that to work. A religion. Let's look at what we can do, right? Let's look at the possible. And then we can work out what we can do. The lore religion is possible and sounds interesting. Diplomacy down here, we need a six. Possible. Diplomacy, we need a four. Very possible. I don't want to kill. I want to kill as little as we can here. Mainly because, like, I need somebody to give me the lore. That's, that's the bit I'm after. So, I'm going to go for lore religion. You guard a place shown to you in nightmares, but Desna, Mother Moon, is a good goddess of dreams. It's not like her to send nightmares. It seems like something isn't right. We succeeded! Fantastic! We rolled a 19. A shadow of doubt rushes over the priestess's face. I think you just very politely suggested that my tribe has been guarding this land an unthinkable cost for thousands of years based on false information. Or is it sheer fantasy? These are brazen words. In no way do we mean to insult you or your tribe, Ikora. Please, hear the reason in the idea, not the boldness. Yeah, listen to my commander. If there's anyone in this world who can lead us against an ancient evil, it is Magar Varn. I am not a sage, but I've learned one thing in my life. If a horrible danger is hiding in your cellar, the stupidest thing you can do is sit on the door and hope it never gets out. Baron, I was wrong to think you worthy of the master's gift. You're the same as the other mortals, ordinary and pathetic, and unable to see past your own nose. Somehow, amazingly, the priestess smiles. I know a thousand beautiful songs from the old times, a thousand more prayers and incantations, but this is the first time I sense so much force in such simple and unsophisticated words. All right, Baron Varn, we will follow you into darkness, if that is what we must do. But first we must clear the land of what remains of the demon worshippers. Yeah! Well, I guess we've changed side again. Forwards! Um, okay. Believe in yourselves. So I'm assuming these centaurs are gonna basically hit those two. So I think we should aim to kill that one, move on to Zordesh. Tahara, I think you should get your buff going. Elk, I'm afraid your job is to charge that thing. Although he has low health, so it might be a good idea. Drew, we have anything we need you to do right now? Probably not. Could use Acid Maw. I guess. Yeah, use Acid Maw. And this one can attack that thing right now. Okay. And Cephal? Um, I think I'll use... Um, yeah, I'll definitely use Burning Arc. Because I think that will actually bounce onto everybody right now. Or it'll just bounce onto a couple here. And that seems like a good idea. Go. Okay, this one. The charge isn't going to work. Just hit it. Right. Do a lot of damage to the Dodger. It's Dodger as well. We're doing a lot of da damage too. False Life failed, which is lovely. Oh, it's getting blasted by the archer in the back. Okay, it looks like we're going to destroy them. Nice prayer. Okay, Drew. Um, she does have a melee weapon, so that's okay. This is fine. When we kill this, I think I should move someone back. Does Sekor have anything else? No, but he's also not in melee range, which is lovely. So I can use uh, Searing Light to get rid of that one. Okay, that one's dead. Magar, I need you to go help Fight out over me. here. You help on Zordash. You help on Zordash. Go. It. Right. Lovely. Magar is about to stab him and kill him. Nice. With grim thoroughness, Magar wipes his sword and sheaths it. It is done. More needless carnage for a noble cause. Maybe we should have made some use of the carnage and turned our swords against those who deserved it, Cephal seethes. Instead of siding with the humble fools who would be easy for us to control, you allied with a wild horde ready to leap to savagery over a thousand-year-old tales. You had better be ready when your centaurs strike us in the back when we go down into the tomb. I don't have the strength to argue, my friend. I'll just say that I'm willing to rely on those who have guarded this land from threats to the best of their abilities, even if it's just because of thousand-year-old tales. 
but I don't want to have anything to do with someone who her has heard the same tales and still waited for their chance to grab power and bring people to their knees. I'm glad we got rid of that filth. So we've now killed pretty much everyone in that town. Not the best um, timeline, but anyway. Um, what, what will we need to get inside the tomb? A ritual, if you can call it that. I've worked it out. It's amazingly simple. The staff of our village chief is a key, which fits perfectly in the lock. One only needs activated near the tomb gates, and they will open, but not right away. The protective magic will take half a day to clear, which is normal for with spells of this kind. You know what I wonder? If the ones who locked the Cyclops Tyrant in the tomb didn't want him to get back out, then why did they leave the key so close by? I don't think we'll ever know the answer. Um, isn't it time we figure out our plan and get moving? Let me dwell on this a little before the situation becomes irreversible. Magar shakes his head. Just think of it. A village which has, for generations, worshipped daemons and their ancient treasure, and a centaur tribe standing vigilant guard for hundreds of years, all in this tiny piece of land, and now we have come to uncover these secrets, which have waited for us here a thousand years, and see what is hid behind the legends? We're done singing someone else's songs and ready to make our own. I have the staff key. That fool Zordash obviously has no further use of it. Zephyl seems surprisingly nervous. Just to be clear, I must emphasize. I will hold the ritual... But the protective spell will not lift for half a day. We will need to set guard and wait. Of course, get some much needed rest before we venture down into the tomb. I feel like the hero of a prophecy, or a buffoonery. Well, best not waste time. Oh, okay. Really, no time's being wasted. This spell is so unusual, not like Daemon Force at all. Or a very ancient one. Well, get out of my way, you silly door. Okay. Ready for the next line? There is no next line. Zephyl is casting. Gain strength before the final dash. Oh, well, this this is the end then, right? It's basically telling us we can rest. Well, before we go in, obviously, we're going to have a look around, right? Because no there's stuff that we now. haven't looted yet. Are we leveled up yet? No, we're about 2,000 off leveling, which is really annoying, because I think we would have leveled if we did everything in the first area. Not that I think we would have been able to do everything in the first area. I still believe we made the right choice in leaving. Also, Elk is dead. But Elk will come back. But yeah. Um, I think we could be one level higher. Vast Intelligence Helmet is lovely. The Dagger plus one is good. This is worth coming back here for, actually. That was some good stuff. Don't know why I'm picking up the treasure, because, to be honest with you, we can't do anything with it. But, dagger plus one is perfect, because we can give the dagger plus one here to uh, Tahara. Which means that she is now slightly better. Okay. Uh, we can also give the bow to Drew, if she can use it. If she can't use bows, that's fine. Useful to know. Um, and we can give... What's the other one? That we picked up there? Oh, the um, intelligence thing. That's quite clearly a Cephal item. Yeah. Perfect. So he now is 29 in. We can also give ourselves the amulet of, um, yeah, of whatever. Which gives us plus one armor. Natural armor. That was it. Uh, I guess I'll give Drew the other one. Okay. She's using studded leather right now. We could replace it with... Leather armor plus one. They're pretty much identical in most ways. I'll give her the leather armor plus one anyway, just so she's on something better. We'll give her one of those. That's fine. Just to increase her AC slightly. You know, that's fine. Right. Ooh, we got a box over here as well. Okay. Oh, I didn't need to pick up all the javelins, but there we go. Onwards. I have done now. This one? Well... That was easy. Ring of Protection 2. Lovely. I will equip Ring of Protection 2 on ourself. Yeah. 
Okay, we currently had Tortusio's present. Oh yeah, of course, Tortusio's present. Um, does this actually give us one more ace? It does give us one more, so I can get rid of Tortusio's present now. I is I actually forgot we still had Tortusio's present. Um, well nobody else can wear it, so I guess we'll just keep it. That's fine. Uh, it did say it was going to be half a day for the tomb to open. We were told that many times, so it might be worth just resting now. March on. Is there anything else over this way? Just looking for like the tiniest bit of loot. Nope. Okay. I think it's time to rest. Quick save. And rest. Only one person's injured, but you know, that's fine. Doesn't bother me. I'll just keep our current spells as well. As you, oh, okay. Apparently we didn't get a choice. If we click rest, we're resting. Okay. In the blackest hour of night, the general awakes, feeling painfully lethargic. The darkness around is so thick that he can't even see his hand in front of his eyes. The world is silent. He can't even hear the sounds of his companions breathing. Then suddenly, somewhere off to the right, no, there's probably nothing. Now, off to the left and up and everywhere around, rustling, rustling, rustling. Wake up. The general's fingers touch the cold stone. He tries to get up, but cannot. The ceiling is quite low. It, too, is cold stone, like the floor, and the walls that he can feel to his left and right, each wall only at an arm's length, rustling. Rustling in realization. He is in a stone tomb, and darkness around is not the night. It's the black darkness of the grave. All right, we're gonna try and push. We're very physical. The general gathers himself to push against the lid of his box, but cannot control his arms. His hands reach uncontrollably for his eyes, first touching with a strange inquisitive interest, pressing slightly, pressing more than the nails. The general hears himself scream. Alright, our knowledge arcana. A very, um, you know, a reasonable one. Magic, he realizes. This is a magical nightmare, imbued with Abaddon's magic. He only needs to wake up and all of this will end. Wake up. Oh, was that it? What a disgusting night. I can't remember the last time I had such terrible nightmares. We didn't actually rest, though. So I, oh, yeah, I was going to check my spells and then never actually rested. Uh, I just wanted to check if we had anything that was truly awful. I think we were already basically ready for undead. What about um, Cephal? He's got an extra spell slot, see? He could have gone in there without an extra spell. An extra two spells. You see? We, we could have missed out on quite a lot, actually. <laughs> actually, I might take another fireball. Look at all the stuff we would have been missing. I'm just checking that she's got all of her spells, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Please rest. Oh, we can probably do better than a hearty meal as well now. Chocolate ice cream it is. Plus three to all skill checks. Let's go. So... We got our six rations. The camouflage was successful. The ice cream is great. The heals are done. The elk is back alive. The quick save is done. The door is here. We are going to enter. General, it looks like... <gasps> oh, it's Shirdy. Good afternoon, Baron. Sir Cephal summoned me with a sending spell yesterday. I suppose I... Uh, right at the moment you were setting up camp. He asked that reinforcements and supplies be brought from Varnhold. I came as fast as I could. Cephal, keen foresight as ever. Good job. Shurdy, uh, or Kyurdy, could report on the situation in Varnhold. Everything seems calm, Baron. The hosts are standing guard. No one is making any trouble. No sign of Cyclopses. Only it's stuffy, you know. I wish I could explain it better, like a storm is building over the city. You should return, they need you there. We are here with the express aim of protecting the city. It, it's alright, Kyurgi. We will wait here. Wait for us here. Aldafon and Cephal will go check the supplies you brought. We might need something for the expedition into the tomb. And what are you saying about the city? What do you mean it's stuffy? If I could explain better, I would. Uh, it's bad there. Like, something is gonna happen. I talk to the people. Many are having nightmares. It's always the same. Always about tearing their own eyes out. Fun, isn't it? Yeah, fun. Um, what's Willis Gunderson doing? 
He's hanging about at the tavern, writing and writing for days. He's been stranger than usual lately, pale as a ghost, dark circles under his eyes, like he hasn't slept for a few nights. Maybe he's pining for someone? Kiordi winks. Yes, yeah, um, okay, so it looks like we can get different uh, adventurers if we want, potentially. Good idea. Let's have a look at the supplies first, though. Uh, so these are new, I think? We'll do all of our offers. That's fine. Whoa, what happened there? I think it just rearranged itself a little bit oddly. We'll sell that. Just gonna sell everything that we don't need. Oh, I could change this to just be, um, do that. Then actually I'm gonna sell magical stuff anyway. That's fine. I know if we got new adventurers we might want to use it, but... Eh, whatever. It's fine. We'll deal. Um... Is there anything here? Is there a dueling sword? There is not a new dueling sword. Okay, that's fine. Uh, the rest I'm not too worried about. The short swords actually could be very good for Magar, potentially. Again, I'm not overly worried about buying anything here. On this one, in terms of armor, we could go... Uh, we probably don't want a heavy armor, but we could get like better medium armor, I suppose. But again, not major deal. Uh, yeah, we'll go for what we got right now, and if we need more stuff, we'll come back. In fact, I'll do this right now. I'll just do a save. Uh, I'm going to rename it as well. Um, before, uh, dungeon. Yeah. So basically, this one's going to be, if we cannot do the dungeon currently, then we will come back. Anyway, open the gates. Well, Saffel, has your magic worked? It doesn't look like anything's changed. Yes, the gates will open in a moment or two. Be ready. Keep your weapons and spells at the ready. We don't know what awaits us inside. We do, Baron. Darkness awaits us. We're ready. Has it begun already? Well, Torag bless you in all your deeds and ways. So long. Yuridi's last words are drowned out by a dull moan that rises over the area. The doors of the ancient dungeon slowly open, as if a huge creature is opening its maw. The path in front of you lies open. Well, we leveled up. It's a good sign. I guess. Whispers of the past is complete. Now we are in the dungeon, of which I assume there is no exit. There is no exit. Okay. So forbidden, forgotten, forbidden, forsworn. Examine the tomb. Neither dead nor neither dead cyclops nor any other danger will deter the party onward. Okay, well we got our level up at the perfect times, and I am going to do level up at the end of this episode. So steel net, so we can throw a blazing wall of steel to defend ourselves when fighting defensively with a dueling sword. Penalties on all attacks in a round are reduced by two, and the dodge bonus to AC is increased by two for the same round. Okay. Um, okay, so it basically makes the uh, fighting defensively better in every way. Sounds great. We'll take it. Uh, ability scores. We can get strength up to a six. I'll take that. Seems like a good idea. Uh, yeah, we're done. We're nice and easy. Magar, rogue. So he gets improved on canny dodge, so he can no longer be flanked, and another rogue talent. Okay, so he gets a lot of stuff, actually, this level. Uh, he gets one point, which I could put into int to give him more stuff like that. Is there anything else? I can give him one strength, but he uses finesse weapons anyway. Uh, I'm going to give him an int point, and then, uh, I guess I could give him knowledge world with that. Or actually, I could give him athletics. That's usually a check that comes in occasionally. Although athletics... Doesn't seem like we got as much as we... Let's do one Knowledge World to push that up to a plus seven. Oh, I guess that's because of the base stat. Okay. Then we'll give him some Athletics. Sure. Something like that. I don't know. I'm just uh, going with ideas. I'm not sure if that was even the right thing. So he's got Iron Guts, so he can't be poisoned. Or he's very resistant against being poisoned. What else do we want here? Terrain Mastery? What type of terrain is there? Underground? I would like a description of underground, but I think this is underground. 
Hmm. Just wondering, that could be pretty good. Uh, although it's only it only gives perception bonuses actually now that I'm looking at it. Slow reactions. Ooh, when they're attacked, they can't make attacks opportunity for one round. The target thinks he attacks. That seems good. Let's take that one. That seems very useful. Right. Oh, we could take weapon focus actually as well. We could give him weapon focus for a punching dagger. Plus one all attack rolls with his best I best one. Actually, I'll take that. Plus one punching dagger. Go for that. Right. Tahara. Ranger. So she gets favored terrain. Okay. Uh, well, I guess we're going to choose underground for her. This does not matter at all. None of that matters for her. Um, thinking I might boost up our con. I mean, we're not probably not getting another point in anything yet, but I'll boost up our con anyway. Uh, we'll take underground because that's where we are, I think. It, I would describe this Focus as underground. We are under the ground. Druid. We get wild shape bear and medium elemental. Fantastic. So we get those upgrades. Um, I guess if we use wisdom, we'll just keep piling points into wisdom here. Um, yeah, not a lot we need to really worry about. And we just basically get wild shapes. Uh, any new spells for her? Um, she gets new spells. Okay. Life blast seems like it'll be very useful in this area. Uh, Cephal. Cleric. Lovely. So he now... I think I already gave him Selective Channel, didn't I? Yeah, I need to remember that I gave him that. Numerous Heralds. Rece receive a superior summoning as a bonus feat. You can summon more creatures. Each time you cast a summoning spell that conjures more than one creature, add one to the total number of creatures summoned. Interesting. So we can basically summon swarms. I like that. Uh, again, give him a Wisdom. Don't think we're getting another point, but that's fine. Right. Spare me the details. Oh, does he have more spells? He gets another one here. Um, I'm thinking we might need a death ward. Uh, not that we'll get it till we rest, but you know, might as well put these in. I'm also thinking that we probably want a second searing light. I think dominate animal is going to be trash, but there you go. Not a lot we can really do about that, is there? Uh, and then Cephal. Hello. Level up. Now, he's a wizard, so he gets Dimensional Step. So, you can use this ability to teleport 30 feet as a move action. Very interesting. You can do that eight times a day. Because it's, it's wizard level. That's good. Uh, here, I can give her another point in Int, which seems good. Uh, I guess I'll give him Use Magic Device up to the same level as everything else. Perfect. Right. Uh, yeah, and that gives him more spells, I think. Then we get some level 4 spells. Now, I want to see, are there any new ones here? I did look at what the new ones were, but I don't think they're here. No, I don't think there's any new spells, which must mean they're higher level spells. Yeah, so I think there were things like pits and things. Uh, the only one I don't really recognize is Innervation. But I think I've seen the enemies use that, so yeah. Um... Dimensional door, not interested. Touch a slime. When you make a successful melee touch attack with the slime. I don't want to do a melee touch attack, though, ever. I don't want to be in melee range. Um, Dragon breath could be interesting. It's a lot of damage, which is the only reason I'm thinking of it. Um, enemies in the area. It's a target point within long range. Take Dragon Breath, and I guess we can make it Acid, which will work with us. I think we have the at well, we have Conjuration bonus. I thought Acid was good with us, but I guess not. Um, okay, is there anything that's Conjuration based that's good? That's Evocation based, obviously. Ah, uh, oh, there we go. We already have the Conjuration ones. These uh that's the only reason it's recommending them to us is because they're Conjuration. I see. Uh, what does Conjuration actually do for us? It allows us... I think it's just to, because we get Acid Dart, I thought that gave us a bonus, but I guess it doesn't. Um, increase the number of rounds for its duration. Oh, okay, so it's not really important for us right now. Uh, elemental Body. I don't really want to be an Elemental. False Life Greater. 
Ooh. It's one hour per level. Same as False Life, except you gain temporary hit points equal to 2d10 plus one per cast level. Seems actually pretty good. If we need to survive a little bit longer, it could be useful. Right. Quick save. And I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.